Hi, it's Mara Gamble from Our Permaculture Life and the Permaculture Education Institute and welcome to my Live at Five, uh, talking about something to do with permaculture gardening and how you can get it going, particularly at this time when, you know, it's really hard to get seeds and seedlings. So today, what are we going to talk about? Oh, actually, I forgot to introduce my special guest. My special guest today is... Monty. M Monty. This is Monty, my son. And Monty's here to help me. And what is the plant that we're going to talk about today, Monty? Do you remember? Fennel seeds. Fennel seeds and fennel bulb. And so this is actually quite a gourmet vegetable. You can eat the seeds, you can eat the um, you can eat the, the bulbs, and you can eat the fronds. And um, you can eat the fronds for all different sorts of things. You can have them in salads, you can have them in, in soups and stir fries. Um, you can make pesto from them. You can add them into like a, a pasta sauce or um, anything like that. So it's really, really useful um, to have. Now, um, the seeds themselves are really delicious. They're, they've kind of got like an aniseed flavor. Do you like aniseed flavor? Um, no. No, not really? Oh, I, I do. Actually, when you go into an Indian restaurant, even though we can't go to an Indian restaurant now, the seeds are often what you find at the counter. And they help to freshen your breath, but they also are a really great digestion aid too. So fennel is a wonderful plant and it's an, um, I don't know if you can see from this, it has a, these are the old ones that I collected um, last season and they have like a apiaceae, they're a, a sort of like a big bee landing pad flower and all the seeds dry on that. So I just take all of the tops and store them in a, in a dark, cool place and, um, and then and then we keep them and I can plant them out now. Now is a good time. But Monty wants to um, check out something. What, are you, what were you trying to ask then, Monty? What do you think? Do you think that guinea pigs like to eat these as well? They do. Do they? Really? And who's this, Monty? Prem. Prem. And what does Prem mean? Love. Love. So this is Monty's guinea pig Prem. And uh, we keep experimenting with what They only different... like the stem. I mean, like the stem. Okay, well, we can feed him more stem. That's lovely. Okay, so, so if you have some seeds, um, whether you've saved them from last year or maybe they're self-seeding in your garden, that's great. But if you don't have the seeds, how are you going to get them growing again? So in the store, um, you might find the pen, fennel. Well, you want some more for your guinea pig. Okay, there we go. So you might find something like this. So I've looked particularly for one that seems to have a little bit more of the base of it there and it even see here it's even got some new shoots coming out so I thought this one here it's going to get new roots and new shoots coming so what you can do you don't have to um, throw away this beautiful bulb you can still eat it and grow it too so just take off the bottom like that now I don't know if you can see that from there but here you can see there's a bit of greenery going on there can you have a look there Yep, that's and also on this, right? that's the new growth. So what we're going to do, Monty, is I'm going to ask you to help me here. So we're going to put that in a bowl. Yep. Now, can you just pour some water in there, not to cover the whole thing, but just to cover the bit of the roots? Can you manage a guinea pig and watering a plant yep. too? Great. Okay, perfect. So Monty's just put enough in to cover where that root area was. Now, what you'll find in a few days that these, are start, these will start to come up. Now you can go and plant this out in the garden if you like, or you can just keep it inside. Or well, Monty can have a special little spot next to his guinea pig cage and have a, a constant source of um, fennel leaves that are going to make him nice and healthy. Well, he loves those, doesn't he? That's great. Chug them down. Yeah. The last one he just chugged it off my finger. Oh my gosh. So, so if you don't have fennel seeds and you don't have any fennel seedlings from the store, just go and find yourself one of the fennel bulbs, chop off the bottom, eat the rest of it, eat the leaves. And then also once it starts to sprout, <laughs> you can dry this in the <laughs> make sure that you, you do eat, eat the leaves as well. And then allow some of your plants to go to seed because the seed is so valuable, like I said before, as a tea, but also as a, as a flavoring and that you can have some next year. So by starting to think about how we can collect and save seeds from year to year, um, will give us the chance to be more resilient in the future and have more seeds that we can share and trade amongst our neighbours and friends. So thanks for joining me again for another Live at Five. Um, join me again tomorrow and we'll talk about another plant and how you can get it going really easily in your home. 
um, with, whether it be inside or out in your garden. And also down below, I'm going to put down some links for um, how to get your permaculture garden started really simply and easily. A whole lot of links from my YouTube and my blog that I've curated into a collection I think will be really useful. And also a new four-part permaculture series that explores how to, um, what is permaculture and how to weave it into your life and livelihood too. So join me again tomorrow and I'll see you later. And see you. Get, is Prem going to give a wave? Bye. See you later.